There's No Place Like Space, All About Our Solar System by Tish Rabe. I think we're going to have a friend along the way with us. The cat in the hat. There's No Place Like Space. Wouldn't it be fun to go up with a cat in the hat in a spaceship like that? Oh, I just rhymed. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space, I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go, we will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will sing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see. The planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same, hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. He's holding this banner that says, today's weather on Venus, really, really hot. Nearly 900 Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet. What do you think? Earth. It spins all the time round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This is home sweet home. The question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. Is the earth always spinning? Why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. Hmm. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, you see, it's a beautiful blue. If you live on Pluto, it would be nice. Some astronauts think it's covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day, for the sun's just a speck in the sky far away. Ooh, they're very cold. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Things too, thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have all nine planets, now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here's a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. Great dog, great bear, Orion. It's star dot to dot. Use your imagination and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. The bull and the lion. A dog, the great bear, and Leo, the lion, Taurus, the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can live without it. We can't live without it. The star called the sun. <laughs> Looks like she's giving autographs. <laughs> 
From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just, how big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put the, just, just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover, and it might be you who looks up in the sky and find something that's new. In the back of the book, it has some words called glossary, an astronomer, constellation, satellite, solar system, telescope, and universe. These are very helpful. An astronomer is a person who studies the planets, stars, sun, moon, and other heavenly bodies. A constellation, a group of stars that form a pattern in the sky that looks like a picture. You can look up when you have a clear night and see these constellations. A satellite, a natural or man-made object that moves around a planet. Solar system, the sun and all the planets that move around it. A telescope, an instrument that uses lenses to make faraway objects appear closer. And the universe, everything that exists, including the Earth, the planets, the stars, and all of space. There's no place like space. Happy reading.